Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making you some enchiladas. Um, right now I have three chicken breasts in the crock pot on high and I'm just putting in about four cups of water. I'm going to cover it and let it boil for about four hours on high. Here's the enchiladas. So corn, a can of diced tomatoes. This one had jalapeno in it. A can of black beans. A can of regular diced tomatoes. And then I'm pouring in some enchilada sauce. I'm putting it in another can because that's how much it called for. Now I have one cup of quinoa and a half cup of water. I'm just going to stir it all in together and you'll be amazed at how much it actually cooks. Cover it, and again, I did this four hours on high. You could do it longer on low. I'm just shredding the chicken, stirring the quinoa enchilada mix. Now I'm cutting some lettuce. I always take the heart out, cuts easier that way. Pick off what you don't want. Now some uh, green onions. These are all just toppings, so whatever you want. Some limes, I have some cilantro, and now I'm cutting a mango. It may seem weird, but I love putting fresh mango into my dishes like this because when I'm done, I'm not looking for something sweet. It's like perfectly filling and delicious. So usually the chicken shreds better when you cook it on low for a longer period of time, but since I cooked it fast, I had a little bit of a harder time shredding it, so I had to put it on the cutting board and cut it. So for my husband, I'm making a uh, nacho style uh, with the enchilada mix. So I'm putting chicken on it because this guy will not eat anything without meat involved. It's not dinner unless there's meat, according to my husband. <laughs> So now I'm just putting the enchilada mixture on top. Um, by the way, he loves this recipe and he's super picky, especially when it comes to healthier options, but it was super delicious and I had the leftovers today. So you guys are going to love this. And again, don't forget that I am remodeling my kitchen, so please excuse the hot mess. And if you like me now, you'll love me later. You guys are watching and I don't even have countertops, so I really appreciate all of you. This is what it looks like. I'm putting some jalapenos on his. It really doesn't need it. It has a nice spice kick to it already. Some Mexican cheese and I'm going to put it in the microwave. And he's having his mangoes on the side. Here's mine. I just put the lettuce in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to put the enchilada mixture in on top. It's already very hot. I only microwaved his because I wanted to melt the cheese more. Now I'm just topping it with some uh, Mexican cheese. And now for my toppings. I love toppings on everything. Green onions. Cilantro. My kitchen is a hot mess, but you guys love me, right? <laughs> I love cilantro. My husband thinks it tastes like Christmas trees. I know, it's odd. And then mango, which seriously, don't knock it until you try it. It's a delicious combination. I'm squeezing some lime juice on top. And voila! Well, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that other good stuff.